The following review is on The Transformers the Movie, Autobot Scout, Autobot Hound, Walmart Exclusive, so stay tuned. Bob is still here, and Tay doing a review on the Walmart Exclusive, Transformers the Movie, Autobot Scout, Autobot Hound. Now, Hound was barely in the movie, we saw him at the very beginning. Uh, right when I believe Hot Rod through the uh, barricade, I think the uh, I think you saw Hound in the background. There's his army jeep mode. There's his robot mode. And the top it is four steps: one, two, three, four. There is the UPC. There is the Autobot Hound. And there is the plastic free packaging. And there is the back. The universe is threatened by the greatest villain Cybertron has ever known. The heroic Autobots must find a way to destroy this menace if they hope to save their homeworld till all are one. <clears throat> now these um, Walmart exclusives are the G1 molds, but the paint is a little different. Yeah, I remember like, I also got this with my hot rod, and he was actually movie pink and stuff. So all the recolored hot rod, I already did a review on him, I'll put a link in the description below. But now, I ordered a second one because these are only $9.99 at Walmart.com right now, Christmas time 2023. So I bought an extra one of him and I finally picked up Hound. He's normally like $34.99, so it was a good deal. Um, like I said, I, I never had Hound in the G1 version, so it'll be interesting to see. This is my first Hound figure. Alright, I think we're just going to open up real quick. <clears throat> we'll just cut the tape. I had literally just got this guy in from Walmart.com. They delivered it on a Sunday. <clears throat> All right, and here we go. <clears throat> oh, nice. Packed in uh, Jeep mode. And they always do, they always give you these warnings in different languages. I just throw that away. <clears throat> All right, <clears throat> Transformers the movie, Autobot Scout, Autobot Hound. <clears throat> Now let's see, comes with his gun, a gas tank, a star, or a spare tire. So it tells you how to put everything on uh, on the, there we go, everything on the car. And then we just got a few transformation steps, blah, 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 blah. And then he also came with a gun launcher, uh, three missiles, a gun, and a launcher. So it tells you where to put it all. All right. Next, let's look at the weapons. So we're just going to cut this off real quick. <clears throat> and uh, like I said, I this is the first time I'm seeing this figure. Now, of course, before we finish the review, I'll have taken them out, transformed a few times. But I just want to do a quick unboxing, get this in. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> oh, Wow. Um, holy smokes. <laughs> All right. He comes with his three missiles. Very good. Here is the gas tank. Okay. So put that there. Here is the spare wheel. All right. Oh, <clears throat> uh, let's see. Wow. This is his missile launcher. All right. <clears throat> and there is his... This goes on, I would assume, <clears throat> huh. oh, this is the gun for the Jeep mode in the back, right there, and then he's got a handgun, <clears throat> so let's look at the instructions again, <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> let's see, let's turn over, <clears throat> huh. You know what? This ain't even listed on here. Because you've got this, you've got this, and you've got these three. And then, oh, and this, I guess this, these are the three, and we'll scoot down a little. These are the three accessories in vehicle mode, and these are all the accessories in robot mode. <clears throat> So, for probably a deluxe size figure, they really didn't have uh, size figures back then. It was just a made one figure, and that was it. So, if we get scale, 
And you got Ultra Magnus being the same size as Devastator and Blaster. Uh, you know something's wrong with scale. Alright, let's quietly cut these. Or carefully cut these. This is a new razor too, so. There we go. <clears throat> Oh, and he's got one down here, too. Come on. <clears throat> yeah, so... All right. And the first thing I see, I feel, it's die cast. They had a lot of die cast in the original Transformers. Nowadays, they don't do any die cast. Nowadays, it's all cheap plastic. But back then, <clears throat> you had die cast figures so <clears throat> there is basically hound you can see his waist right there oh oh look at that um so you can still see his little waist but not too bad there is the underneath of the vehicle i like the little window goes up and down you saw how the seats go up and down and we're just gonna do this in vehicle mode while we have it real quick Sorry about if you hear that tap in the background. It's my dogs on my wood floor. <laughs> so, the <clears throat> gas tank. All right, you got the little hole right there. Gas tank. You got spare tire. Although, kind of, this spare tire's got an army star in it, and this one is blank, so not quite accurate. So there's a little peg here. Oh, wow, this is tight. All right, so that's in and then this you just got a little hole right there. You got a peg here This is also his um, Hologram gun cool and that moves just a little moves up and down and so that is hound in his vehicle mode <clears throat> and I guess that's about it for vehicle mode and then we got all this for robot mode I don't think you could install this all right, so he uh, well wow, rolls pretty good. Are these rubber tires? Yeah, they feel like rubber tires. So you get the little you know yellow arrow there. You get a little army star there, the Autobot symbol. You got a little winch up here. You get the headlights. You got the mirrors way up here, which is pretty cool. Again, you got that yellow arrow. The tires. The back looks pretty good. So all in all, oh, I can't wait to read the directions, and I can't wait to transform this guy. All right, uh, and then let's see what interesting comparisons we'll make. All right, let's go on to the next step. Now, for comparisons, we're going to bring in first the Walmart Retro Generation Movie Accurate Hot Rod. Now, I would have loved to see these two guys <clears throat> interact in the movie, but they never did, <clears throat> but... They are both movie accurate, so there's those two. <clears throat> then I'm going to bring in the Siege Hound. Now this is like a Cybertronian Jeep, but it's, it's pretty close to an Earth Jeep too. Uh, they have the same design elements with the winch up front. The head pops up here. You got the feet in the back. <clears throat> you got a spare tire here and the two weapons. So that is the Siege Hound. Now they did do detritus or detritus is the earth mold. I'm still waiting for them to color it as a jazz or as a hound. Here is going to be Optimus Prime. There. So that is how G1 Hound and Prime looked. And they're about in scale. Like uh, maybe, well if they would be that big, maybe Prime's a little smaller. But that is how those two scaled. <clears throat> Again... Hound, I would love to see a television series that takes place after season two and before the movie. That way you have Cup interacting with Hound, you have Hot Rod and like Sideswipe, all that good stuff. Here is the G1 Battle Charger Topspin. <clears throat> and <laughs> now this scale is way out of whack. You've got a Sherman tank and a Jeep. And guess which one's bigger? That's the original Warpath. And then another movie guy, Cyclonus. There was no such thing as scale back then. All right, now let's transform. Now, before we were tr uh, transform Hound, let's look at 
him and the Siege Hound, the similarities. All right, the wench up front, like I, I mentioned, but especially the weaponry, because we've got this gun in the back, and we've got this gun here. You've got the spare tire and the gas tank. He's got the spare tire right here. <clears throat> you know, um, he's got this missile launcher, and unfortunately on Hound, you know, you can't put it, it's got to be in the robot mode. So you got these missile launchers look alike, right here, right, very similar, and um, <clears throat> his guns, well, they kind of look similar. And remember, <clears throat> this is a Cybertronian Jeep. He was one of the few characters that they did not in Siege, they never came out with a Earth mode. But like I said, Detrius just came out and he's going to be recolored as the Hound. So, transform him. <clears throat> Unfortunately, we need to get we need to get all our, all our little weapons out. And then <clears throat> we got to <clears throat> take this off, <clears throat> take this off. <clears throat> okay, so <clears throat> now to transform this guy He's actually got some cool steps. He really does. First, you pull him and extend the front. Okay? Then you want to take the feet and fold them like that. Now, when I first saw this, I thought this was like weird how it was double, but it wasn't. Oh, and you know what? First of all, actually, you know what? We got to take the gas tank off, too. Everything is taken off. So we got to take off the tire, the gas tank. <clears throat> and this gun and unfortunately those go over here <clears throat> okay so now <clears throat> we extend that and we rotate this out then we got to close up the seat okay <clears throat> and fold these back okay and <clears throat> his legs are separate but they don't <clears throat> put it now first thing I notice is die cast these figures are definitely die cast figures which is pretty cool they use die cast. <clears throat> Alright, so once you got the bottom done, you take this and you move this forward. That will expose the head. Okay? Now very important, you take these pieces and you gotta rotate them down. <clears throat> rotate these down. <clears throat> like that. Now <clears throat> this comes the fun part. Take the wheel and as you move this side it's going to take the arm and push the arm out see how this thing it's cut like that so you're actually going to push the arm out when you do that all right and then you take the arm and you could pull it down now watch again on the other side as we <clears throat> rotate this down it's going to push the other arm out Okay, and then you just got to take this tiny little arm, and you push it down, <clears throat> and then last but not least, you take this, <clears throat> and you flip it back. And that is G1 Hound. Now, these weapons don't get used, and <clears throat> you got to come in and bring these weapons in. Now, this right here, you got this little cutout, so you're just going to slide this in here. Okay, and that's for that weapon. And this tiny little arm, he's got alligator arms. You put his gun in here. <clears throat> and they give you three. I only just took one out. <clears throat> Problem with this figure is I'm going to have to keep the box. Because <clears throat> all these pieces <clears throat> you don't use in vehicle mode, which is bad. But that <clears throat> is Hound. <clears throat> now, <clears throat> I would assume... Um, I'll try to put a picture of G1 Hound at the end of this video, but I think he was a lot darker, and he probably had more stickers on him. But right now, this is our G1 Movie Accurate Hound. And, uh, <clears throat> articulation, the head doesn't do nothing, <laughs> and the arm is on this pin, so you just move the arms up and down, and... That's all you do. <clears throat> and that is it. And the gun, you can barely raise the gun. And if you go up here, can you shoot it? Wait. 
This is launch. And you can't shoot it. Mine doesn't work. I know it's spring loaded. I thought it was. Uh, let's see what the directions say. <clears throat> nope. It just says you push it in, and that is it. So you get all these weapons. You got all these accessories, yet you can't do nothing with them in both modes. And let's see. Come on, now this one's stuck in here. Uh, let's pause this for a minute. All right, so what it is is once you lift this up, you've got to pull hard on this because there is a little. See that little uh, piece right there? So when you lift it up, you can pull it out, and then when you close it, it locks it in. Let's see if I can get one of my lights in here. So that's about as best you're going to get. So that is why... That is why they don't... You have to and just stick this in here. <clears throat> and that is G1 Hound. Now, our first comparison, we're going to bring out the Walmart Retro Movie Accurate Hot Rod. And wow, what a difference in sizes. Now, this is the G1 design, but with more movie accurate colors and less stickers, just like Hound, even though I don't have the original G1 Hound. This is more movie accurate, even though he was shown for like one second in the movie. <laughs> But I assume it matches his G1 cartoon anyway. So that is the Walmart reissue hot rod. <clears throat> then we're going to bring in the Siege Hound of uh, <clears throat> Cybertronian origin. So, I mean, they kept the, this is the um, winch up here. They get the winch up here. You know, so very similar design. And this is the Walmart reissue Optimus Prime. So now we're getting into some of the G1 figures I have. Now this is a Walmart reissue. This was the original cup from 1986. Still in good shape. A little super glue on the back. But <clears throat> this is my original Cyclonus. Also from 1986. So these are some of my G1s. I don't have that many G1 cars, <clears throat> but I do have Warpath. So this is uh, Warpath Minibot, how we went to, I guess you'd call these guys a deluxe. So that is how Warpath and Hound compared to back then. <clears throat> and then I'm just going to bring in my top spin. So he's a... Jump charger, whatever, battle charger, something like that. And uh, they're about the same size. So, basically, that is all of my robot comparisons. Uh, <clears throat> $35? <clears throat> no, he's not worth. But <clears throat> the $9.99 or $9.97 that Walmart had this guy for at Christmas time, I got me this guy, and I picked me up another hot rod. Now, I've got two hot rods. I already did a review on the retro, I guess it's called retro um, hot rod figure. They're more, you know, they don't have, they have less stickers and they're more color for the movies and or the show. Like this guy <clears throat> was more in seasons one and two. He was only shown, I think, in one picture <clears throat> by the Autobot shuttle <clears throat> and that was it. <clears throat> and that was Hound for the whole entire movie. <clears throat> But, let's see, what do these call these? They call these anything? Nope, they don't call retro anything. So, an actual registered Jeep. So, and that is Hound. I mean, yeah, die cast is nice. They got a little heft to them. But, I mean, look at the proportions. Look at that arm. I know they were, you know, this is technology from the 80s. I mean, they've gone so much. I mean, it's amazing what they do. Let's look at that face real quick. Again, no articulation. The arms go up and down. And that's about it. So, <clears throat> all right. Now, you know what? Let's bring in that Siege Hound one more time. And here's our Siege Hound. 
Now we got to get them up. <clears throat> so, I mean, you can see star, army star, army star. This is more like the back of the Jeep. The head pops out the same way. And they try to emulate the missile launcher. Um, the way this fits in the back, this folds up like that. Uh, the wheels are different, though. All four wheels fold in, kind of like brawn. But the gun, um, they incorporated the spare tire into, like, part of the weapon. So, I mean, it's... You could tell right away, yes, this is Hound. This is a Cybertronian Hound. So, I like how they took the original figures and tried to... Like, this was a Cybertronian vehicle, but you real I mean, it's probably not going to look much different from the other one. But this is the only Hound I have, and you could tell right off the bat, this is Hound, and this is Hound. Not like in the last night, when it looks more like Bulkhead or anything, but... Anyway, I'll put this guy away, and again, uh... <clears throat> this is our G1 Accurate Hound, and like I said, I'll put some pictures of what the original one looked like. So, to transform him back, <clears throat> we got to get these three weapons and put these two weapons away. <clears throat> okay, so, now to reverse it, now this is a little different though, because when you put these in, when you turn these, you actually physically got to push the arms in like that so when you get to a certain point you push these in and turn these in and then you can take this lift that up and you can lift the front of the Jeep up okay so now the back very important you pull both of these sides out because if you don't you're gonna remove that joint oh and very important you gotta rotate these up Rotate these up. Now these tabs will fit right here, so they'll fit together. <coughs> and then rotate this. Separate the chair. I like how they did the seats, though. That's pretty cool. Then you got the seats like that. And then you push this forward, and these will seamlessly meld together. So you got that right there. You got that right there. It's a shame he doesn't have a steering wheel. But... And there is Hound. So what you want to do again is you put this back here. You put the tire here. And you put the gas can here. So now he's back to Hound. And this is his G1 Hound. And this was his hologram emitter if you remember. And at least it's on a little peg. It's on a little joint so you can move it up. And like that but I mean that would have been nice if they put a little like steering wheel now the bumblebee G oh, the off-road bumblebee <clears throat> that would have been a neat um, comparison but oh well too late that at least has a little steering wheel in it this doesn't but it's pretty neat I mean yeah there's the arm right there but you really I mean you see the waist and the legs but that's about all and uh, I like how the wheels are pegged on he rolls pretty good instead of just like, you know, where you can pop them on and off. And um, definitely, like I said, the die cast metal. Um, is he worth 35 bucks? No. Is he worth 10? Yes. And I'm glad I got him. <clears throat> and they've been doing these. But see, Walmart's funny. Sometimes they do the reissue like Optimus and <clears throat> they did Starscream. But then, or like Devastator too was a couple of years ago. But now they're doing the reissues and they're making them look more like their animation selves. And this one I take it was a lighter shade of green. And that involves less stickers, especially on the hot rod. Um, you know what, I'll, click, I'll put a link in below to my hot rod Walmart video. Because then I have the original and the other one. And you could see big difference between the two. So less, in this case, less is more. Less stickers is a more accurate version. But this is Hound. So um, if you had a chance to get this guy at Christmas for 10 bucks, congratulations. He's a good little addition to your collection. Like I said, I'm going to have to keep the box and put all these. I'm going to keep. I'm not going to keep him on display. He's going to stay in the box. And uh, we'll see where he finds a place in my collection. So, uh, all right, so like and subscribe to the channel. Turn on those notifications, please. Um, comment, thumbs up, 
Um, share with your friends. If you know anybody that has and has trouble, especially with these little pieces, send them to my video. I like that. I, I, nothing is better when I get a review from my mother saying, you know, I got this for my kid and I couldn't know how to uh, figure it out. And thanks to your video, I, I, I was able to do it for him, which is a good feeling. That's happened a couple times so far. All right, like, subscribe, turn on notifications, and um, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year, and we'll see you guys later. Bottoms Bill, out.